Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Republican Reflections. On the left side of your screen, you're looking at Brandon Judd. He's the president of the National Border Patrol Council. On the right side, we have Lieutenant Chris Oliveras of the Texas Department of Public Safety. Lieutenant Oliveras is going to discuss uh, what happened at the border, what policy changes took place, and who's to blame for all of this stuff over the last two years. Take a look. If we look at the past two years and why we're here today and why we're talking about this particular topic, well, it's because the administration has simply dismantled every policy that was put in place. The, they, they canceled the construction of the border wall. They took away every viable tool from U.S. Border Patrol to do their job on the front lines and to enforce criminal work. And that's why we're seeing this mad surge of mass migration between the ports of entry. So yesterday, we started taking a proactive approach. Governor Abbott made it very clear from day one, back in March of 2021, we launched Operation Lone Star, that we were going to take a stance. We weren't going to wait for the administration to take responsibility for their actions. We were going to step in and do the job. That's what we've been doing for the past two years. Yesterday, we cleared out brush along the river and we put concertina wire razor wire along with national guard to try to stem that flow of people who are coming across between the ports of entry now they talk about humanity they talk about compassion more orderly process there's nothing humane or compassionate about people crossing between the ports of entry with their children on a dangerous river also when they make it to the united states they have nowhere to go the shelters are at capacity and now they're sleeping in the streets so clearly they have not done anything to protect these migrants that are coming across the border and we will continue taking more action and address